when the leg kicks to Uriah's left leg, was that going into it part of the plan, or was it once you once you connected and saw that it was it was working, you just kept chopping away? Praticamente faz parte da estratégia. Eu acho que é o meu treinamento. Eu acho que eu tenho um chute bom, chute, um bom soco. Então eu procuro sempre encaixar todo o meu carro ali, né? Que, que eu faço bom box. Então eu procuro soltar isso no, no meio da luta. Se for bem encaixado, a gente dá pro continuidade. Um, you know, it's always part of my strategy. I feel that I have strong kicks, I have strong punches. And uh, once they started landing, I, I just went with it. But yeah, my, my kicks and, and my strikes are always part of my strategy in every fight. Is he aware that he sent your eyes to the hospital? Is it? Não, não, eu acho que quando eu, eu subo lá em cima, eu acho que eu procuro vencer a luta, não, mas para o meu adversário eu nunca vou, vou procurar, mandar alguém estar não. Procuro ganhar a luta, eu acho que isso, lógico, sei vencedor me deixa feliz, mas eu acho que ele tem um hospital, eu acho que eu fico um lado triste, eu acho que é o nosso trabalho, eu acho que nunca eu vou querer o, o mal de nenhum de nós lutadores, tanto meu adversário ou um que venha lutar comigo. You know, every time I step in the octagon, my goal is always to win, finish fights. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes, um, you know, the guys go to the hospital, and, and one one part of me is very happy that I won the fight. The other part of me is really sad to see that uh, my opponent um, had to go to the hospital. Not only my opponent, but any fighter. You know, I, I'm I'm one of these fighters, so anytime a fighter goes to the hospital, it makes me very upset. Also, you basically ran out to the cage instead of walking, like most people do. I was wondering if that was a decision that you had made beforehand, or if you just got excited and you wanted to get out there. Eu sempre fico animado. Eu acho que quando chega aquela hora ali, eu acho que eu fico porra, sai de forma completa. Eu quero chegar logo lá dentro. Eu quero que comece mais rápido. Eu acho que eu gosto do show. Então, sempre porra. Eu acho que na última vez também eu saí correndo e roda. You know, I always get real excited right before I'm about to get in there, and um, you know, just like the last time, I believe the last time I actually ran in there also, um, I just get real excited and uh, I just charge in and I just want to get this thing going. He did look, Jose, you did look a little more cautious than we're used to seeing you. We're used to seeing you really aggressively go after finishes, and obviously you fought very well, but it, it seemed like you were a little more cautious than usual. Can you kind of talk more about that decision and what about your ride? Não, eu acho que sempre eu um cuidado, mas eu tento soltar meus golpes. Eu acho que o Wright estava bem fechado, estava sentindo a perna, mas ele escondeu, investi a base, então eu tinha que ir num lugar certo. Então, geralmente, se você vê, eu fui para cima o tempo todo, buscando acabar a luta mais rápido. Eu acho que o Wright, como um grande lutador, defendeu bem. You know, um, it wasn't that I was more careful. I'm always careful when I go into the ring. But what happened was is that Uriah was doing a very good job at covering things up. The only, uh, you know, strike that we kept landing was that leg kick. So I kept going into that, hoping he was opening up. But every time I would go in to try to do something else, he was covering up, covering himself up very well. You got to take your hat off to Uriah. He came in with a good strategy and to protect himself. Não podemos dizer que pô, o cara era um grande campeão. Então não tem como tirar o mérito dele. Eu acho que ele foi guerreiro, esportou. Até o último round. He said, you know, I don't want to take anything away from Uriah Faber. I mean, he was a great champion, and he went in there and fought for five rounds, and he was hurt. Some people would have quit. He hung in there and, and, and took all five rounds. Jose, were you ever uh, frustrated in any part? Because it, it seemed like there were, there were times during the fight where both you guys were having a hard time finding your rhythm. Did that frustrate you at all? Or? Não, acho que eu não tive meu ritmo, eu acho que eu vi que a luta estava no mão, tentei jogar o golpe toda hora, eu acho que não fico frustrado, eu apenas vou lutando e vou soltando as combinações que eu faço no meu treinamento. Yeah, I, I don't get frustrated. I, I felt that my strikes when I wanted to land them, they would. Um, you know, he was covering up well, but I was never frustrated. I just keep doing what I do in practice and that's try to put my combinations and my kicks and my strikes together. What about um, winning Sacramento? Um, obviously, you put in a performance at the same time. Got disappointed fans because you know they, they had to watch their hometown hero lose uh, in five rounds. Um, you know, I think it's the third time I've been here in Sacramento. I like this city. I'm very happy here. 
eu acho que faz parte, né? Eu acho que um tem que sair vencedor e dessa vez foi eu. Então é isso aí. Eu fiz, cheguei lá e fiz o meu trabalho. You know, I really like Sacramento. Like I said before, this is where I have my debut. This is my third fight here. I feel like this is my home away from home. I feel very comfortable here. And like I said, my post-fight interview. You know, I hope they can adopt me here as one of their uh, one of their stars too. And who do you think your next opponent will be? Isso aí que manda é meus quatro anos. Eu acho que quem botar para mim lutar eu luto. He says who decides that are my bosses. I'll, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. Let's just say it's Manny. What do you think of a matchup against him? Não, um grande lutador. Eu acho que quem eu não escolho adversário. Eu acho que se for o Manny maneiro, pode a gente vai lá e vai lutar. Eu acho que quem os botar eu luto. Ou sendo melhor, ou pior. Para mim eu não escolho adversário. Eu apenas sou um funcionário e faço meu trabalho. So I don't pick my opponents. You know, whoever they put in front of me is fine. If it's Manny, then great. Um, you know, whether the guy's good, bad, ugly doesn't make a difference. I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. And I know this is about the fighters, but Ed, I'm just curious, how different, how different does this night feel two weeks ago? You got this stud here finishing the job for you personally. You know, it, it feels great. Uh, I mean, you know, every, everyone always wants to see a finish. Uh, you know, we, we all do. Uh, Junior went in there and, um, you know, Jose went in there and dominated. And, and it just feels great. It's just, it's just a good feeling, you know, that they see him go out there and put on the best performance. I know you were actively trying to finish. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But on the other side, you know, hopefully it answers some questions about uh, Jose. If, you know, people were saying, well, what would happen if he gets into deeper water or if he gets into five rounds? Well, he just went five rounds with a super explosive guy. Um, and, and that wasn't his goal. He wanted to finish. I, I actually thought that they were going to stop the fight in the fourth round when he had it, when he was in that side control, pounding him for as long as he did. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But he, he dominated, and, I, and I'm proud of him and happy. Uh, Dave, this is a little off topic, but uh, what message were you sending having Jake Shields sit next to you? <laughs> <laughs> Watch the fights. Guys, we've got time for two more. <laughs> Anything else? This question is for uh, Jose. Uh, Jose, whose idea was it for the uh, track that you uh, came out to run the city? <risos> foi minha mesmo, acho que num dia eu falei de basquete, eu vi a Rihanna, depois que eu ouvi a música dela, eu gostei. Então eu falei, ah, é essa música que ele entra. You know, what, what happened was, is it was his idea, um, I actually took him to a basketball game and Rihanna was there. He didn't really know who she was and then when we got in my car, I was, we were driving back and playing the song and then we played the song and he goes, man, I want to walk into this song and then I explained him what it said and he said, that's the perfect song. We were looking for a music that I think is good for me. I think after I heard the translation, I don't think I didn't hurt anyone. It's just me. I think the music is what I like, so I like the music, so that's why I put it. I don't want to hurt anyone, hurt anyone, or do an offense to my adversary, anything. I think I always respect everyone. He said he didn't mean to you know, offend anybody if anyone got offended. What happened was he liked the song and then once I translated the words to him, he, 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 he loved the song. You know? And he was like, this is perfect. And Ed, you just happen to have Rihanna. I was just gonna say, good thing I have that pussy cap on. It's actually on the Jay Z album, man. That so. <laughs> just saved his ass right there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs>